Okay, so here we go. I'm going to be doing... Well, okay, first things first. My name is Mar. I might have noticed if I introduce myself, it helps with the interactions of the video. You know, the commenting and all that. I do reply or react, at least, if I can't come up with a reply to comments and stuff that are left. Because I just feel like it's rude if I don't. But, yeah, my name is Mar. You know, welcome. All we do here is talk about life. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I just catch up with everyone as if, we, you know, we were long-time friends. It's just how I am for some reason. But, um, no, today we're going to be doing the Cherry Crush collection from ColourPop. It's old. It, like, came out a couple months ago, but it's still up on their website, so I am still going to do a review on it because not all of us can buy the makeup as soon as it comes out. You know, it's just not feasible sometimes. So the palette itself is $14. They still do have it all up online, I believe. If Like, their website is kind of iffy on my uh, on my phone because my desktop went down. It's just, it died on me. The pa pa power supply just gave out. So I don't have my desktop, so I have to use my, my other phone now. But you can get the um, bobby pins, the little hair pins, the cute little hair pins. I was going to my daughter. And the hand mirror, along with the palette, if you get just that little bundle, it is, I believe, like, $23 or something like that. $23, yes. $23. The hair clips, the seven, so, you know. The, well, I had the rest of the collection up, and now it just disappeared on me. Don't know why. Let me go back a page, because it's acting up now. Now that I want to tell you guys about it. Okay, there's the palette. Okay, and then we have the liner for seven dollars. It comes, I think it's one gel liner. One gel liner. It's got no two cream gel liners each at seven dollars. It's got the lip um, stain for eight dollars as well. I know it's got the cheek stuff, but you can get the eye, lip, and cheek set for nineteen. Is what I'm seeing on here. So you can the whole collection still up, just not in a bundle. I don't think. But I did get the whole thing. So we're going to start with, I'm going to go with the blush, the cheek blush, because I tend to do my face first before I do anything else. So we're going to start with that. Getting my blush thing. I've never worked with these like liquid blushes kind of thing. I have never done it. Okay, so we get this one in Sour Cherry. Like, get the light out of my way. Sour cherry. Do this. Do this more. I'm gonna open it up. They come in these little tubes like this. There was dust on me. I fell. Comes in like these little tubies. <laughs> like, as you can see, it's not the easiest to get out either, apparently. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm struggling. I am seriously struggling. I have to rip the box. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, so it comes in a tubey like that. So, it's this cheek do. I'm putting that back up. That's Sour Cherry. It's got the little name right there as well on the top of the tube thing. Let me see how I fare with this one. This one is Cherish You. Cute little packaging. The packaging is also cute, but I never really keep it. It's just bulky. I don't know, would it make storage easier? Let me know. Do you keep your packaging? Does it make storage easier? Or do you have to fight with your products like this every single time? Like, okay. I have to rip the box to get it out. Or maybe I'm just not graceful. <laughs> Here's the other one. It looks like a lighter pink. It looks rosier. So we're going to see. I'm putting these up. Okay tossing them over there okay so I'm gonna take them out I'm gonna try them on the back of my hand first and of course for safety and security concerns it still has the little thing right there which is fine but yes like I said this one's cherish you definitely more of a pink tone on that one I guess this is more hygienic too because you can just get out what you need sour cherry you know, if you have, I, I just bought my own glass little, like, round palette thing, like this one from Dollar Tree. It's a candle holder. <laughs> I'm like, it's a dollar. I wasn't going to spend more than that. And that one's like a darker red. 
but definitely still like red. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to grab a little bit of that darker red one. Just a little bit. I'm going to see what'll happen. Oh, it's very pigmented. So I'm sorry, but I really don't know how this is going to go. So I'm just going to try to blend that out with my brush. I used very little. Okay, so very little will go a long way. Ugh. This one had a bit more than the other side, so it's going to be more pigmented. I believe right here would be a good time to reveal the mirror because I do need a close-up look. On how this is looking on my skin and if it's doing anything to my foundation. Okay, so it seems, from far away, it seems to have blended fine. We're opening up our mirror here. Sometimes, <laughs> it's so cute, it's so small, tiny little mirror. Comes with a little plastic thing seal on it, so you can take that off. Okay, so, nice quality, small. It's not messing with my foundation. Now we're back to the, um blush it's not messing with my foundation at all nothing picked up it's nice color go easy go very light do like what i did do like a little dot and then grab a little dot out of that dot and dot it on your cheek because that is pigmented so i do like to add some color to here on myself so we're gonna attempt that um, I think I took that brush to do my niece's makeup the other day, so I'm going to have to improvise with the brush and hope for the best. This might be too thick, but I'm going to try it anyway. So I'm going with this one, the little light one. I'm actually going to go in with my finger and do the tiniest little dot. Tiniest little dots. And we're going to try to blend that out now. It actually seems to have smoothed out on my foundation a bit. So it's actually improving the look of the bit of texture that I have there today. Normally I don't, so I'm kind of surprised that I did. Yeah, so that little dot was more than enough to give me the little bit of color that I normally would put on there. Like if I wanted just a bit more, like literally a tiny little bit is all you need. Tiniest little bit. And then blend it out. Okay, so these products are highly pigmented. They will last quite a while. Quite a while, considering that I <laughs> barely dipped into the little dots I put out on my hand. So, see? Already nice and blushed and everything. I already wiped off the back of my hand and I forgot to put it on the tip of my nose. So I'm just going to use a little leftover. A little leftover of what I have on both. To see. Just a little. Rosiness there. Okay. And now, up next. The, so these are actually quite nice. I would keep these for like, travel. Because they're very small. Very, they don't take up much space. So now we're going to go in with the palette, because we have gel liners to use with it. <laughs> give me a second, I'm going to try to steal Dustin's drink, I'm going to see if he'll give it to me. Okay, yeah, he gave me his drink. <laughs> we ordered Zaxby's, like chicken, like fried, that's not fried chicken, it's like hot spicy chicken, fried chicken, <gasps> chicken sandwiches, things like that. I took my finger into my highlighter because I wasn't paying attention. But I get my soda now because I already finished mine and his was just sitting there. I'm like, maybe he'll let me have it for hydration. But okay, so I, um, I added some highlight from Physician's Formula. I love Physician's Formula for highlighters. They have four different one of the butter highlighters. They are amazing. I stand by them. I will always love them. I they like, look. Look at that glow, like I just cannot, but <laughs> let's go in with the palette now. 
So if you have some of their other palettes, I'm pretty sure you might not need this one. That, that should probably go grab them. Hold on. Give me another second. Quick pause again. I'm going to go try to find all the red palettes that I have from ColourPop. Because I think I have two. Two? So give me just a second. Alright, so I do have the wine and only. I do not have the all that palette any longer i might have sold it or given it away or something but we have the wine and only which is this beautiful dark red as an option if you have that one we also have their cherry on top palette which is also another signature all red palette that they have it looks like this it's very pretty also, i highly recommend this one I love the um, ice cream shop ones. They are wonderful. I love those. So there's that. And then so the cherry on top is like a blend. It's very, um, definitely looks like the cherry on top one. Definitely mm -hmm. reminds me of the cherry on top. So if you have the cherry on top, you might not need this one. Eight and nine they look extremely similar so if you have the cherry on top you might not really want the cherry crush but I mean their names are almost identical too. <laughs> have to do with cherry cherry fruit so there we go but we're gonna go ahead and try to make a look with this one let's see how it goes a little cute mirror I swear okay so let's begin our transformation here go in with I guess I want to do a typical nice dark look so we're gonna begin with this one block cherry that one it's like I don't like the fact that there is no mirror in there so I'm gonna do this I'm cheating we're gonna do the outer part right here like so just blend it on there Blend it in. There is quite a bit of kickback in the pan, but I kind of expect that from ColourPop palettes now. Just kind of like their thing. Taking it in a little bit into the crease, just a tad. Using the corner of my brush to accomplish that. Bringing it in just a little bit. Making sure to blend. Okay, so we have that kind of shape going on. I'm just getting it in there. And then I do want to go in now with Take a Bite, that dark, almost purpley color. Ooh. That's going to be the outer section. Outermost section. Picking it up and packing it on. Just to add that depth. See how it, I'm trying to see how it um, builds, if it builds. It's also very important here. And will it build? I'm kind of struggling to get that, that to show on this particular look here but it's working it's getting there just got to work with it a little bit to get that to really overtake the red red pigment over there and just really get it worked into it like so okay getting a little bit more working it in so we have that. Now we have a bit of a depth going on right there. Changing the brush to more of like this. A little fluffy kind of, but flattened brush. And now I want to go in with this one right here. The cherry stem. That one. And that's going to be what's going to be in our crease. All the way down into the inner corner. I'm just going to build that in there, like so. Doing a simple look today, okay? 
simple 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 make sure it blends in with that other shade that we had originally the black cherry getting it all up in there nicely blended like that and uh, for on top of that I actually do want to go in with cerise Gonna be on top of that shade just add a beautiful gradient all the way out to our deepest shade that we have on our eye which is the take a bite all the way get a beautiful uniform shape going like so and now you can go in with black cherry again to even out because I know it looks like uneven right here and even out that little bit right there that it looked like it had a gap if you're like me you noticed it <laughs> back in with take a bite and bringing it in just a little bit more to help our shape like so and now for the overall part on the eyelid I want to set the base of scarlet that pink getting some on that brush pat 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 getting it all up in there like so like that and then as an actual like the shimmer shade that I want I think I'm going to put it just in the center but I'm going to go in with this one sweet like okay that one's kind of hard pressed in the pan which is fine still picked up pretty decently that's what it looked like with the brush I'm going to go in with my finger so you can see what it looks like then and now definitely applies better because you definitely are able to pack it on nothing too spectacular in my opinion though it's like it's there but nothing like bam okay so that's a nice simple look right there making sure this brush is nice and clean and on our bottom lid, we're going to go in with Take a Bite. Be careful with the type of brush you pick because the more bristly ones will take more and it will have more kickback. So now we're going to go in with Scarlet, the very pink one that in the shade. And we're going to bring it across. And then our final shade, I'm actually going to go in with Very Cherry, the shiny shimmer right there. Finish it like that. Now for the inner corner, uh, there's not really a shade in here that I want to use for the inner corner, but I'm going to go ahead and try this one. The Tie a Knot. So go right down this tip right there and putting it right in the inner corner Ooh. yeah there we go so that's what we got going on and because I like to add that bit of like you know wow factor I'm wondering if I want to put anything in the brow today if I'm just gonna leave it like this so we're gonna go in so, like, I'm so iffy about that part. But we're going to go in with the gel liner that we have right here. This one is Cherry Pie. And I think it's a gel liner. Yes, it is. Cherry Pie is a bright red. And then the other one is Graceland. Oh, this is a white. This is their white eyeliner. Like, actual liner. And then this one is Jubilee. This, this one's the other gel liner. Like a pink. So 
think I'm going to do the bright red. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the bright red on the bottom lash. Let's see, let's see how that goes. I love their gel liners. I already know. See? Easy application. And I know it's going to last all day. There's no worry about that for me. And then I'm just going to line my eye. That's my normal eyeliner. A normal eyeliner here. Sorry, you guys. I'm yawning. That's how rude of me. But it just it just happened. I don't even think I should be tired. I think I went to bed early. I think I went to bed at like 9, 10. I went to bed when the kids did. <laughs> I have so many eyeliners. I can't. I was like, I can't find the right one. Sorry. But we're gonna go in on my classic black liner. Okay. I think that I think this is the hardest part is getting your liner to be what you envision in your mind. And it's like, trust me, it's it, it's difficult every single time. So we have our dramatic liner, dramatics, and I do want to test out the white one. I think it's good. I think I have one. I just don't use it as frequently as I probably should. But we're gonna line these bottom sections here, just for dramatic effect. Yeah, you see how that emphasizes everything? Now we're gonna do the bottom here and bring it like that. And we're gonna do the top right here. So like that. I'm just adding it to add um, dramatic effect to it. To enhance the look like so you see how I just kind of elongated the eye and it really made it more impactful that's what we're aiming for and I am gonna go ahead and put on one of the lip stains which once I find them, I know they're oh second, they're they're behind my brushes. So this one is Love Bite. Taking it out. It looks really nice, very pretty. And we have double cherry. I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. Somehow I got it on my chin. And um I will go off camera, finish brows, lashes, and all that, and I will come back. They're almost I don't know. This one's like a pinky color. The love bite like that and double cherry mm. they're very similar so one's very red one's very pink I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two colors on my lip yeah okay so I'm gonna do the the double cherry on top is this lip stain i really don't know how these work am i supposed to leave it on and then just you know it works as magic throughout the day or who knows
Okay, so this is a cherry one. It's cooling. It's got like, it feels cold. It feels like there's a breeze in my lip. So that's double cherry. And now we're doing love bite on the bottom lip. Just because I want to. We're having two different color lips today. I want to see if you can see an actual difference. Oh, it's tickling my lip. The applicator is tickling my lip. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't understand. I've never had an applicator that makes my lip tickle. Oh. oh, this is torture. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to like use a different method to apply these. The applicator is tickling my bottom lip. Okay, so this helps kind of show a little bit of the difference in these two lip products. See? Kind of, kind of, kind of see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not too big of a difference. But I'm mixing them up now. I guess they're nice. But um, I'm going to finish up my eyes, my eyebrows, my lashes and all that. And I'll be right back, okay? Alright, and this is the finished look. So, I am very happy with it. Very, very happy with how it all turned out. The quality of everything is really great. I like, it's just, there's no complaints on the quality of any of these things, any of these items. It's all, let me just throw my trash on the, the little bed that I normally do, my bed over there. Um. The gel liner is always great quality. I love them. They're easy to apply. They do not irritate the eye at all. And these are red. It's all, I'm extremely happy that they finally came out with like red safe for the eyes and all that. Um, I did add a lip liner to help because I noticed that the um, oil was kind of like trying to split, um, not spray, spray, um, feather. Kind of tried to feather a little bit. So I did add this one from their new um, release. The I Heart This lip liner. I have a video of me swatching it on me. And then swatching it also on Dustin. For a reference on different skin tones. So you can see it. Um, it's quite interesting experience. Because undertones matter. <laughs> Let me just say that. And I do. I'm glad. I do think it's good. It's smart move that they added the white eyeliner in there because it does help add dramatic effects to it. Like I said, the two gel liners are wonderful. I do love that. The two lip oils, like there's a slight difference in them. One's more pinky, one's definitely a red red. I mixed the two in the end. Just did that. You yeah. know, did one color on one side and one color the other top and then just went mom, mom, and then just mix them together and I like the combination of the two. There's barely a difference. One's rosier, one's definitely just red, normal red. So they're great. They're nice. They're hydrating. No complaints at all with those either. And the cheek ones go very, very, very light and built up the color to the opacity that you would like. These are highly pigmented. I barely used any, and as you can see, I am blushed to the heavens. I have more than enough color for what I normally would wear. So those are great as well. Definitely do recommend. Those will save you some money because they seem to last a while. They're pretty big tubes. I'm trying to see. Um, it's a serum blush. It's only $7 for that. That, that little tube that I'm pretty sure will last you like the whole year <laughs> because of the way it goes. It is, uh, let me see, I'm trying to see if it, it tells me how much comes in the actual container. Ingredients. And it's telling me all the ingredients. There's a lot of ingredients. Application tips. Use your fingertips for beauty sponge for a skin like finish. Do a fiber brush for an airbrush effect. Small amount and build the desired coverage. Definitely, definitely back that. 
go very light and work your way up. Um, it has 0.48 ounces of product, so 13.5 grams for seven dollars and it will last you all year i like even if you do your makeup every single day because you literally need the smallest smallest amount this will probably last you the entire year so it's a very good investment and it's very hygienic because you can just use a little bit um put it on the palette put it on the back of your hand just you know go off of that so you don't have to keep applying it onto your face possibly getting into bacteria or if you're sick or you happen to just eaten something and you get it on there it won't build bacteria or hold bacteria now the palette itself it's got some kickback in the palette as you can see if you don't tap off the excess it will have a little bit of fallout i was able to take it off with no problem on this side this i had a little bit of fallout because my application on this side it's kind of iffy because i don't know how to i don't know how to apply it to this side for some reason yet after so long and i still mess up but there is there is small variety i wish they had like maybe some a bit darker than that and something lighter but because of the fact that you know it's red themed i think they did good with the color selection there is enough definition and variety in there that it, i was able to come up with a really nice monochromatic look and like i said if you buy the whole collection the way i did it worked it, and like what came in that little collection helped me come up with a look that's nice and impactful and dramatic and like i said it comes with these cute little hair clips and the cute little mirror that i just literally had in my hand cute little mirror color pop very nice travel friendly is what i think when i see that and that is it for this collection i hope you find it helpful remember there are um codes you can use for 10 percent off all the time on color pop like all the time i think i have a if you haven't shopped there yet i think i do have a referral referral link down below for 10 15 percent off or something like that i think you can use it once i'm not 100 percent sure how that works but if you want to try it just this one time you can use that link if not there's trend mood there's i think manny manny also has an affiliate code uh just google google it color pop affiliate codes and it will give you a long long list of codes that you can keep using repeatedly they have lots of sales they have a lot of a lot of specials <laughs> ColourPop is the like budget friendly quality makeup brand out there that i feel pretty confident in like um supporting but on that note i looked over and i realized that my brain had a big old like poof moment that cherry on top palette that I recommended highly is from BH Cosmetics, not color. It's now dawned on me. So, if you want a dupe for this one, well, this one's fourteen. I believe the um, BH Cosmetic one's about eighteen dollars or something like that as well. So, um, I think this one would be a dupe for that one because the other one came out first. But I am so glad I realized my mistake. So I could give you a heads up. <laughs> the other one's from BH Cosmetics. The cherry on top one. If you like that one. It's also a great quality from a different brand. But. 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 It is still good. They're both very good. They're both very similar. I th believe you can come up with the same exact look on both of them. But ColourPop just has a little kit that comes with theirs. I'm glad I remembered in the video. Instead of me having to put it in the description box below. But. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. I am sorry about the mix-up right there towards the end. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. I will update you on if this is actually a stain and if it stays. Bye for now. Sorry, I know the video already ended and I said my goodbyes and everything. But I did run into the other palette that I had, which is the main squeeze palette from ColourPop. And it looks like this. So in comparison to the Cherry Blush crush cherry crush palette they are very 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 similar sorry i'm holding my camera with my hand this time it's not on the stand because i didn't think it'd take too long to show you guys so that's what they look like right here i'm gonna have to hold it sideways the top one's the cherry crush the bottom is the main squeeze and in my opinion looking at it now you definitely do not need both you can pick either or if you go if you want something that has more of a inner corner highlight and something a little with a little bit that's a neutral leaning 
I would go with the main squeeze. If you want completely red all, all the way around monochromatic, then the Cherry Crush would be a good palette for you. And like I said, the um, wine and only palette is much darker, darker reds for sure on that one. And it is more similar to the all that palette, which I no longer have, really, I don't. I looked again, but those run like this, dark, okay? So that is it. I am definitely signing off now, and I am glad that I can be informative. Bye. <laughs>